Love. I honestly forgot you were still streaming Pokemon. Yeah, it's been a while. Although I don't know if I'd say 20 hours a while. It's weird to think that there's already been like that long spent on this playthrough. I mean, again, though, I've been having a lot of fun with it, so... I mean, how many gyms in am I? I'm actually not sure what my, my progress looks like at the moment. Oh. Well, that was a quick change of seasons. That's based on, like, the, the actual date when you're playing it, right? It's nice to be out of winter. Look at these colors now. This is not what this town looked like before. Let's have a look. Let's have a look at, like, my badges. There's a way to do this, right? Probably, like, the ID thing, the thing that says Griffin. That's how it was in Diamond, right? Yeah, look at that! I'm six gyms in then. On to the seventh. Hey, speaking of, speaking of the fact that it's been like a month since I last streamed this, um, where do I go from here? Let's talk to people, let's, let's ask around. It's dangerous to play in a landing strip, but you should be okay on ours?! We only have one cargo flight a day. I think I'm going to exercise, uh, better judgment than yours in terms of letting kids fucking run around on the tarmac. I think it's supposed to be this way, right? I will also consult my map. I will simply consult my map. Which is in the key items? You see, they call it a town map, but it's a map of the world. Icarus City. That's gotta be where I'm headed next. So up and to the right, I guess. That's where I'll wander to. Yeah, this is spring. Aw, oh, yeah! This is happening! So how have you guys been doing? Did you guys see the direct on time in the morning? What are you guys excited about? I saw some some people pogging out over Hades, so that's neat. The fucking clown. See, I remember trying to like chase these guys down and they just they were so slippery. They wouldn't let me through. Yeah, I think I remember now. Like where I left off last time, I kind of generally knew where I had to go, but I just like decided to leave it for next time. Anyways, Twisted Mountain. This is where people like me are sent. Conquering a mountain means conquering your fears. Can you win against Pokemon that have conquered many mountains? Hey chat, <laughs> what are you scared of? What's your deepest, darkest fear? Hiker Terrell. Hades is good, I don't think I care about any of the other stuff. I guess I'm really excited about Ori. I wasn't- it, That's fucking out today! I wasn't expecting that whatsoever! What the- Since when did I get superior? I don't remember this shit at all! Okay, grass type is, is good against rock, right? Oh god, just as I was like, barely scratching the surface of, the surface of how types worked. And now I'm forgetting all of it. Although I guess I, I cracked that one, I got that one right. But that was a lucky guess, that is for now. I anticipate that's gonna get a lot nastier later on in terms of not knowing what I'm doing. It did, and it made me mad and ruined my day and made me upset the whole time I was at work, and now I will play Mario. <laughs> Girder. Let's see, that's a fighting type, which Psychic, Ghost, and Dark is good at, against. So if I switch to Scraggy, my boy, then he'll do a good job, right? Scraggy. That wasn't me, that's the sound the game makes, is, is what he sounds like voice acted in the in the show. Well, he's also a fighting type, so maybe it'll like cancel out? Or dark type just happened to be good. Let's see. What does payback do? Oh, cool! <laughs> oh, I'm getting slapped! <gasps> I'm getting big time slapped. Well, the good news is that Scraggy's gonna get plenty of experience from that. Oh, I forgot how, like, really good Croc Rock was. Let's try Zebstrika. I got you really recently. Like, I've been doing some big shifts in my t team. As of last session. And now I gotta actually, like, work with it. This is, like, a lot more... A lot different compared to what we... Wow, we have fire and electric? This dude's awesome! I'm gonna try Shockwave. Let's do it. This is a fun little horsey. I love this guy! Like, I thought he just had a cool design, but no! Like, the, the moves are actually great too, and he's dead. Scraggy sounds like he's smoked three packs a day for 20 years, canonically. That's what it says in the Pokédex. Okay, so Zip Strike is off the table. Um, Unpheasant. There's been so many evolutions and just team switch-ups that I do not remember making from last time. It's nuts. I mean, like... The health is getting there. It's slowly but surely getting lowered, but... 
feel like there were a lot of injuries on the way there. Hey, chat, so question. What, 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 what is good against fighting type? What's, like, the actual way I'm supposed to do that? Bird! See, this is good for Scraggy, though. You conquered a Beelus mountain. That you are a mountain? All right, well, immediately, half my team's, like, fucking dead or injured. But wait a second, I have Fly, too, don't I? So if I just go to Pokemon, then I can snap right back to the city if I so please. And I do please. That's not too big of a walk. I think it's better to be safe than sorry. Although I think I did buy a ton of potions. But, like, at the same time, if you look at, like, what happened in the gym in this city, I'm gonna need to save those. I can't be using them, like, in a cave, you know? If I have this right here and it's not too big of a detour, too big of an inconvenience, Psychic and Flying is good against fighting. Oh, wow! So I was like, I had the bird type out, I just wasn't using the bird moves. Well, that's something good to know. Thanks. So the music is like the same between seasons, right? I'm not like misremembering that. Wait a second, that's like fancy grass for when shit's going down. I can't be bothered. But can't I though? Because those guys give out like lots of XP and I have Pokemon that need like serious leveling. So it could be worth the detour actually. I'm just gonna fucking jump right- I'm gonna pounce like a leopard. See now this is a psychic so maybe a fighting would be good against that? No, it would just be weak against that, what am I saying? Hmm. Well, maybe Scraggy will be good because he's a dark type more than a fighting type. He just happens to have a fighting move. I guess you could say, oh, I Dino, what's gonna happen? <laughs> oh no, Scraggy! Don't simp! I should have seen this coming. I guess he still broke through. It doesn't look like it's very effective, though. I don't know. Oh, but that's even less effective. I feel like... I feel like there's better options at my disposal at this moment. Like, maybe in theory, I could, like, farm this a ton and just use this a bunch of times. But if this is only a 10 PP move, then I'm going to have to make another trip back to the Pokemon Center. So, I don't know. I mean, that hit did pretty good, though, so... I'll keep trying it. I just want Scraggy to, to get good, like, really fast. I guess Zeb Strike needs it more, though. Speaking of... Maybe that's what I'll do. I'll, like, split it between them now. And then hopefully just ignore Pampor long enough to get a Water-type whose visual design I am actually a fan of. Adino is normal, so fighting is good on it. Oh well. Wait a second. Did I just acquire a move? Is that what just happened? Oh, and that increases your speed too. That's actually kind of cool. The way I see Zeb strike a handle like fire and electricity. The, the happier I am that horses do not have access to these elements. No, I think I can make this work. Zip Striker, don't fall for it! No! Why are all my Pokemon straight? I'm, I'm, I'm gonna disown them! If I recall correctly, Audino is a high experience Pokemon, so it's used for grinding in some games. Well, that's why I decided to go out of the way for it in the first place. Because that's what, that's what the wiggling grass means, right? Is that there's like a high experience Pokemon that you're about to run into. You, however, are not that. You're just cute, so I'm going to leave you be. You do not deserve anything. Anything bad. I will give you a pat on the head and I will say goodbye. At least I like barely made it out of the town this time before getting too wrapped up in any, anything else. I feel like caves and Pokemon games can be, like, really hit and miss for me. Like, so sometimes I can, like, really vibe with, like, the labyrinthian nature of them. Like, the the mountain in, in Diamond and Pearl in Gen 4. 
that one was like really hard, but I like appreciated the challenge in a good way. And then you look at like the ones in like red and it's like red and blue gen one and it's like, oh, this just sucks. <laughs> I mean, we just came out of a cave, right? We saw N on the way to the city we're leaving right now, so that one wasn't too bad. That one had like some fun puzzles and it was like linear enough. And I feel bad for saying that as a compliment because I'm sure people are gonna be mad as like, oh, you're fucking casual. You're, you're the reason they're simplifying the new games. I think I would just like to know where I'm going. Thank you. See, this is called Twist Mountain, so I don't know what's, what's gonna happen. I think there's going to be a lot of twists and turns. Or it's going to be a straight line. <laughs> oh, Griffin. What a surprise, seeing you here while I was inspecting Twist Mountain. The two of you seem a bit more rugged the last time I saw you. A little bit, anyways. Heh, a little bit. Is that so? By the by, you folks seen that Team Plasma crowd lately? After all the trouble, we gym leaders met up and had a chat. God, imagine what, like, a, a gym leader group chat would look like. But we got no clue where they are. It's like they're hiding under a rock. Well, aren't we as well? Well, not much to do but wait for him to move. Anyhow, this is none of your concern. Squirts like the two of you should just enjoy traveling with your Pokemon. Twist Mountain's a fine place to explore. You'll have some fun if you just leave this here path. Well... Better you just see it yourself instead of listening to me, Hammer. Be seeing you, Sprouts. Are we Sprouts or Squirts? Can you squirt a Sprout, but can you Sprout a Squirt? Feel free to train yourselves on my mountain for as long as you like. Wait, it's his mountain? Can he just do that? I thought he was going to get us involved in all that bother again. So I was bracing myself before I knew it. I'm going in first, but I'll be seeing you. I don't know if Wigglegrass is high experience, but it's generally a different pool. I gotcha. Oh, there's the end of the mountain. Whoa! I guess I get a little bit more of why it's his mountain now. It's a miny crafty. In winter, the appearance of Twist Mountain changes. When I see that, I feel a sense of relief. It's interesting that I'm getting here just as the quote-unquote winter season is ending, though, too. Ooh, I could definitely use a lot more of those, judging by <laughs> previous performances. My god. Okay, what is this way, then? Am I able to, like, jump off of this, or do I, like, need to identify stairs? Anvil heal. Okay, there's some good goodies around here. I am listening. Yeah, I can't get over these broken parts. I gotta, I gotta navigate the tunnels. I thought Cliff said this would be easy! You know, I think I would rather be listening to Yammering. At least I'm uh, good at that part. <laughs> Yeesh, Superior is getting a little bit overleveled here, huh? And the one time having a grass Pokemon is advantageous. It's like the last Pokemon in my party that I want to like use and train. What if there were MILFs? I hit send too early. I think you hit send at just the right time. What if there were MILFs? I think it'd be pretty fucked up. Boy, am I glad that that's fiction. That he's in there and we're out here and, and he's the sheriff. Or is it and we're the sheriff? I want to say that I have nostalgia for Skooks, but every time I get... Like, the impulse to revisit it, I remember, oh yeah, this is racist, and then I just kind of stop watching it! I feel like that's a thing with, like, a lot of older YouTube poops in general, but I feel like Skooks particularly is a, a nasty offender. Uh, anyways, I know what to do with Unpheasant now, so let's... Let's see this little bird strut their stuff. I'd like to think that the way these Pokemon move is not a limitation of the animation system, and that even if they made like an HD remake of this game, they would squash and stretch like that, and just get really squishy. That was a very satisfying sound effect. That was like a, like a lightning strike, like thunder. Ugh. Maybe I'll just use Air Slash. I could probably get away with that. 
for how much HP is remaining. Yeah, okay. You got this little guy. See, but half of my health is already gone. And Superior is still getting like a lot of XP too. Here's what I'll do. I'll put like Zebstrika or Scraggy at the front of the line, and then like if I need to use Superior, then I'll switch. But this way, the first party member will always get like participation XP. It is, after all, the next best thing to EXP share. Scraggy isn't too far behind, so I think for now I'll prioritize uh, Zibstrika instead. And I'll put you here. Yeah, I'll just jump straight into this. I was, like, thinking whether or not to use potions. But we'll, we'll, just, we'll just fuck around and find out, won't we? When I'm surrounded by rocks, my spirit goes up. I got a rock. I was searching for this one funny gag in a vlog like YouTube poop the other night, and when I found it in the video up in it had like five slurs! Hiker Daryl. Oh, if there is one creature, if there is the last creature that I wanted to see, it would be Woobat. That's a lie. I think there's like an, um, a slightly more evolved version of this that I slightly hate more. And then there's also Pampor, I guess. See, I think me not focusing on that party member in particular is like it's a couple of things because not only am i waiting to find a pokemon that like i want to actually enjoy looking at um especially after you know B's cursed comparison oh, okay so electric is good against flying that's good to know die but also me not leveling it is at the same time just me being afraid of what's going to happen if it does evolve, because it's pretty damn close, and I do not like what these d things look like, what the monkey trio looks like when they evolve. Um, Bulldor? I'm gonna keep battling. Let's see how we do. Kajimafu, I've seen you talking about Volvic Yuji Poops a lot, and I'm glad you, like, brought that back into my headspace, because that really is, like, uh-oh, a real classic. But it's not really, like, in my vocabulary! In my YouTube poop lexicon! I don't think any of this stuff is gonna work, but it, it's good to, like, know and just see it not work. That's actually not too bad. Ooh. I'll switch out before I throw away all the XP that this guy's gonna get. Um... Yeah, we'll go to Superior, then. So these things do that, like, bit where when you reduce their health all the way, they, like, go down to only 1 HP instead of dying all the way. Is that only if you, like, one-shot them? Or does it happen no matter what, and you just have to spend multiple turns? They were my gateway YouTube poop material. I think it was definitely the, CD the CDI games for me. Also, there we go. I guess there's my answer. So it's only if you one-shot them, it look, from the looks of it. Girder. Hmm. Gateway YouTube poop is such a funny term. What was your guys' like, gateway, if you can remember the first one you saw? I'll tell you what, though. I also watched a lot of um, Adventures of Sonic the Hedgehog YouTube poops back in the day. Because, I mean, let's not beat around the bush here. Pingus is just objectively funny. When I lose, my spirits sink. Oh, <gasps> like a rock! He said the thing! I told you guys the story of how I got the word Pingus banned, right? At my school, in elementary school. Uh, let's see. I'm looking for potions. I gotta- I gotta sort is what I gotta do. This is the button for that, right? Yeah. This is what we like to see. I've got 25 hyper potions? I don't have any standard ones. Much to my own dismay. <laughs> it certainly makes the time spent on the menu screen, though. Between battles, a lot shorter, because I'm not spamming, like, a dozen regular potions, and I don't have to watch the little bar go up inch by inch, every single time. <sighs> Cup chew. Apparently I've already caught one. It's been that long. I'm just falling in love. Look at his little kicky legs! Oh! Oh! He's precious! 
And now I have to burn him alive. I never really got into YouTube poops, so the Volvic one Kaijumufu linked in the Discord was the first one that I saw that I liked at all. Femi, you don't like my YouTube poops? How could you? I don't even think half of the ones that I've made are public. Not even because they had, like, slurs, but just because I didn't think that they were very funny. See, this is scary. It's like all tall grass, so I have to, like, choose my route very carefully. If I go the left way and it's a dead end, then I have to walk all the way back, and that means technically more encounters. Or I guess I can just run. Or I can do one more battle and then start running. I think 30 is just a nice number for Zeb Striker to get to. I honestly don't remember seeing any of yours if you've showed them. I, uh, I'm trying to think of which ones I have that are like public. There was like a Switch YouTube poop of like the 2017 January presentation that they did. Um, I think that one aged okay, but that one might be unlisted. I think the only one that I have like regularly in my memory that I made that I know is up for sure is like. Toastbusters, if it technically counts. YTPs are immediately recycled out of my brain. Femi, I- that's the saddest thing I've heard in my life. See, I want to say right now that, like, the Walrus Guy ones have a very soft spot in my heart. Wow, one step, cool. But as the record shows, the last time I actually tried to go and look into one of those didn't aid as well as I remembered. So. Speaking of YouTube poops though, one- oh, this is the exit right here. One very unfortunate fact that I learned as of recent. Apparently, Spencer launches a bagel into Griffin's rectum is gone. Like, the original channel is, like, gone. I don't know if it got, like, taken down, or if, like, the owner just, like, didn't want them around anymore, but, ugh, it's so sad. Hey, fellow dorks, did Griffin learn things? Neon Blue, define learn. And, I mean, like, there's, like, a re-upload of it, but it's, it's not the same. We have a cock? Not anymore. Not, not, not anymore. <laughs> not anymore. Oh, you're a trainer. I thought you were, like, friendly. Being with Pokemon is natural. Having a Pokemon battle is natural. Well, why don't we test whether that's true? Ma'am, I think you should keep your distance. Vanillish? Well, if there was ever a job for Zeb Strika. A job. A jorb. Learn in a timely fashion, I mean. I'm sure you know the definition of insanity, though. Well, this comes as much of a surprise to me as I'm sure it does to you, but I actually did, like, make some significant changes to my party. So far, I'm liking this Zeb Strike a dude. On account of not having any fire or electric types up until six gyms in. <gasps> the horse is angry. My horse, Prince. That was actually some pretty impressive punching above their weight. That was five levels above me. Gotharita? Hmm. That's probably dark type. What's good against- Psychic is good against dark, right? I don't think I have anything that would be good against that. Maybe I'll stick with Substrika. Oh my god. She got that designer choker. Fitty's out. Thickerita. I think I will simply keep trying this and see how it works. Yeah, there's there's some relation between dark types and psychic types. I don't know which way that balance goes, um, but either way, I don't think I have anything that's super effective against dark types. Maybe Scraggy? Well, Scraggy's dark fighting. I don't know. Oh, I've been flattered. I think I too would throw confetti at a horse. Actually, that would be very dangerous. Have you s 
Horses get spooked by fucking anything. Dark, Bug, and Ghost beats Psychic. So what beats Dark is the question. These are some interesting particle effects. Prevented from healing? <gasps> Imagine if horses made that noise. Okay, well now I have to avenge you. I'm wondering if I should continue trying to use this as an opportunity to level up my Pokemon or just jump straight to my most overleveled one and just wreak havoc. I think I'm gonna bust out Croc Rock. We haven't seen this guy so far tonight and we need to show what happens to people who fuck with me. They fucked around and now it's time to find out. I say by using dark Pokemon against another dark Pokemon. Also, coming in with the switch, that's an interesting approach. What type is this guy again? I always forget. Also, imagine sinking your teeth into this thing. Oh, there we go, there's my answer. Cool. You can run, but you can't hide. Fighting Bug and Dairy beat Dark Griffin. Oh, fairy. I wish there was a dairy-type Pokemon. I guess that's technically Mil Miltag, isn't it? I'm sorry, Kaijimafu. What do you mean by what if they were MILFs? You never, like, finished your thought. Gotharita isn't dark, it's psychic. Oh! What do you know? Neat. Alright, well, my Pokemon's, like, just dead now. I would very much like to have a living horse. See, I only have 11 of these, though. It's a bit of a yikes. It just looks gothic. I mean, if you think about it, though, I think it does make more sense for a gothy-looking Pokémon to be psychic, because I think they have the biggest brains. Slash the scariest psyches. You know, as, as far as my Catholic high school experience goes, I think, I think there is no funnier mix of two different identities than, like, Catholic and emo. <laughs> It's one of those goths that say they can talk to ghosts. I think goth readers should be a fighting type because they look like the kind of Pokemon that would be like dancing at a rave under a bridge in daylight. At least with those big brains, they can tell how old they are! Oh, okay, that was probably a bad idea. Good to know. Okay, it is- it is time to stop fucking around. Okay, what's good against fighting again? Flying! Let's get him pheasant back out here. I don't want to, like, dig too deep into my supply of revives right now. I'm just trying to get from point A to point B. I didn't ask for any of this. I'm just trying to get to a cool city, see the sights, fuck around with Pokemon and me. Guys, I think if that feature was in this game, I think Black and White would just objectively be the perfect game. Because every... that was introduced with X and Y, right? And I feel like like the general consensus is that every successive Pokémon since then has kind of been a, a downwards trajectory. I guess Sun and Moon was alright. I remember my school's... Oh! I picked the wrong time to look at chat. Oh no, I am gonna have to touch my revives. Maybe Scraggy can save the day. Let's Let's find out. I remember my schools got really pissed at that because it's like witchcraft or some shit! Uh, high jump kick sounds like a really funny move, but it's probably the least effective thing that I could do. Let's try payback. Yeah, it's payback time for fucking with my bird! My birds! Your birds! See, there we go, that's involving. To be fair, Alistair, Alistair in sword and shield? Sword and defense? can literally talk to ghosts. <gasps> My baby! See, at this point, though, if I try to go back to the Pokemon Center, it's gonna be a long way, so I think I'm just gonna have to stick it out, and maybe I'll just be able to afford enough revives by the time I come out the other side. 
Anyways, enough of these games. It's time to bust out the big guns. And by the big guns, I mean probably the, the Pokemon with the tiniest arms of any party member that I have. Griffin, I just had an epiphany today. Are you Lego Block Guy? Yes, I feel like I've pointed this out before. Is this a discovery you're just- I literally also- Oh my god! He's eating them! But I've literally done like a full playthrough of my own games. What made you finally realize? I didn't know? But how? How? If you miss, you take damage. I guess they never miss, huh? Mmm... Mmm... Richard! I'm gonna forget. Let's see what Stomp does. Two Stomps this time. The target is Stomped with a big foot. Those are his hooves, you bitch! It may also make the target flinch. Mmm... So that's power 65. This is also power 65. This one's 60, and this one's 40. Um, hmm. I think type-wise, I kind of like the loadouts, though. I don't know if I want to switch to, like, a normal type. I've got enough Pokemon with, like, normal moves. I think I'm going to skip out on this one. If anything, I need more specialized moves, you know? So, let's keep old moves. It was the way you drew the hair! <laughs> I've never been there for him. It was a while ago. I, Plockster, I don't think you've you've been around for too long, right? I won, but at what cost? To be fair, it doesn't come up much. I think it came up plenty yesterday, considering the, the what was a pyrite adventure that I did. I just kind of assumed Zeb Striker was dead. It's honestly a miracle. It was such a crazy epiphany because I've been playing your games for years. Like, yeah, this is the thing. Plockster, I knew you, but you didn't know me. I'm like, oh yeah, Plockster. I feel like that's a that's name I've seen around in like, the, the Roblox adventure game community or whatever. That's nuts. Means a lot, though. Thank you. I think you're actually like the only person who knows me from my games first rather than like the art or the streams. That was scary. I was worried I was gonna run into to more Pokemon, I say as I run into an optional battle. At work, we do our best. That is my and my Pokemon's way of life. But does he do it every day? My brand! Okay, I know just the plant for this job. I know you from not knowing how old you are or that one time with the mouse pads I still haven't forgotten about. Oh my god! Neon Blue, I think, I think the time has come for us to settle the score on this matter. Because you had those, links mouse, those Link mouse pads made by Gasai V forever ago, right? And now I've got my Keaton mouse pads that you can make fun of me for. So finally, this, this battle can, can be put to rest. Sometimes you just find out stuff like that, and it's just crazy. Yeah, I, I totally know what you guys mean. One time, there was a girl I went to school with, and she went on a cruise, and she she says that she met uh, two guys on that cruise who claimed that they made the, the Shrek is Love, Shrek is Life video. It's not a battle. I have the high ground. Turnabout is fair play. Tell you what, though, I think you do, because the Link ones probably sold more. <laughs> Sonar rocks? Guys, speaking of Sonar, it's been a while. What have you guys been watching lately? Any good shows or movies you'd recommend? I just, earlier today, binged, um, Excadrill. I think I'm gonna want to switch to Unpheasant for that one. That sounds like a fighting time to me. But I just binged earlier today that new Netflix documentary about like the, the Challenger disaster, and it was actually like really good. 
It's always things like that where it's like, it's very surprising how much footage they wind up getting for stuff like that. Um, same with, uh, what was the other one on Netflix that I just watched that was like a documentary? Immigration Nation? That one was also really good. I was like, how did they fucking get this footage? Who was recording this? Griffin, it's like the time my grandmother stole from Walmart. I tried to tell her, but she didn't listen. Now I have the moral high ground in any case. No, you don't. Ground and steel, I think. Ah. So probably not the best idea to bust out the bird then, right? I'm gonna try one more quick attack and actually pay attention to what happens in terms of the damage that I take and the damage I deal. Okay, super effective. So this is a terrible idea. Good to know, switching out. I don't know, something that I, that I keep noticing that I do, I think fire is good against steel, right? That I keep doing is that like, I don't know when to stop, like I don't know when to quit while I'm ahead. I just keep going swinging and swinging and swilling, swinging and swilling <laughs> until I can swing no longer. And because I have a limited amount of revives, I have to like pull back on that. I gotta make sure, like if it looks like a Pokemon's about to die, fucking tap out, because I've got plenty of potions, but in terms of revives, nuh-uh. I was re-watching Atlanta recently, which is pretty good. Also FMA because of that one image of Mustang with his shirt off. No clue about the second one. The first one is by Donald Glover, right? Like, he directs it? What's that on? Because I've actually heard very good things about it, and I would watch it if I have access to it. Um, well this is also ground. Let's see what Crunch does. Not very effective. See, but Croc Rock is at least like at a good enough level where it's like I don't think I should have to worry too much about him taking like catastrophic amounts of damage every turn. So at the very least, this is like something that I can like at least tough it out for a few turns and it won't bother me too much. It's on F movies! <laughs> I started Green Eggs and Ham on Netflix. I want to be very careful about what I'm about to say about that series, because I don't think that it technically has anything wrong with it. I think it's a little bit weird that, like, they're green eggs and ham man. Sam I am! Griffin, please. Can you for once? But didn't they, like, give that character, like, like a dark, gritty backstory about the reason he likes green eggs and ham? I think that's a little bit silly, but I know that when it first came out, people were saying good things about, like, the animation in it. Being a steel type ground would be super effective, Griffin. Being a steel- so being steel and ground against a steel and ground would be super effective, this is what you mean to tell me? Stairs. <gasps> that was like an actual jump scare. You can't do that! The number two trainer on Twist Mountain is me. Who is number one? Worker heat. I thought that said worker health. Ground would be super effective. Yes. Against ground. Hmm. Okay. Good to know, considering that I did, after all, bust out Croc Rock, a ground type Pokemon. Um, let's see, though. Uh. This is like flying, right? So if I use an electric type move, that's the move to make. That's the way to go. Oh, ground beats steel. It's a dual type. It's a dual wield. Swoobat is dead. Well, the good news is that I'm very pleased with how well I'm turning things around on Zeb Striker because they were pretty nastily underleveled. I don't know why nasty is my word of the day tonight, but what else would you call it, really? Already down to 15 super potions, though. Not liking the looks of that. See, the stairs seem like the way I would want to go. Yeah, okay, this is just for an item. Boy, I really gotta, like, bust out a repel or something. The trainers are enough as it is. Say it more. Nasty? Nasty. 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 A moonstone? It is moon! It is getting dark any day. I think I am no longer interested in dealing with these these dudes' nonsense. 
Also, I think it's really funny that the rocks are gendered, but that's just me. <gasps> what the? Oh, th this is one of those, like, shaky grass things. I don't even want to walk up the stairs to bother. I'm gonna go- FUCK! Have you guys seen the meme where the Disney princesses are forklifts? <laughs> no, I have not. That sounds like a- like a click hole article. Or something like that, or like the hard times. Both very fine journalistic institutions, of course. <gasps> that's not a rock, that's a man! Twist Mountain changes in every season, and this old man changes in every battle. Wait, like, in layout is what they're saying? I guess, because, like, they're doing, like, maybe different construction projects throughout the year. That could be a cool idea. This could have been a totally different playthrough had I gotten to this a few days earlier. Or weeks, or months. It has been a full month since I last did this, so who knows. See, this is actually a trainer battle, though, so I have to start giving a shit for a little bit. Only for a little bit, granted. It's time to, to rock on. What was the game that I recently played that, like, said that? Larry Boy and the Bad Apple. That's what it was. I still kind of want to go back and, like, listen to, like, that, that full song that they did for that, because, like, oh my god. That's such a bizarre game, but I could not be happier that it, like, exists. The thing is, too, is that I know for a fact that there are other VeggieTales games out there. I remember that there was... I've brought this up for ages and ages, wanting to do this, but there was a, a VeggieTales point-and-click for, like, Windows XP or whatever. I guess I'll keep battling if he's sending out the same dude twice. Um, it was a point-and-click where the vegetables got, like, stranded on an island. And I think that one would be a lot of fun to do, but, you know, Windows XP, I don't, I don't even know where to begin in doing something like that. I know ScumVM is a solution, and it is on Mac for, like, kind of older point-and-clicks going a little bit further back than that, but I don't know what the solution would be for games in that generation of, like, PC stuff. Think of all the kinky things you could do with those living sentient vegetables. Neon Blue, I know I always scold you for the things you say, but I think that reaches another level. You can't be the chat member God wants you to be if you say shit like that! It's like old school, like 95, I think. Try Nightmare Net if you can track it down. Um, let's see what Coil does. It doesn't sound like the kind of thing that's for me, but I'll hear it out. Poison, though? The user coils up and concentrates. This raises its attack and defense stats, as well as its accuracy. Not a literal attack move, I am not interested. Keep all moves, please. Can't wait for that to backfire. Another one? <laughs> okay, sure! I mean, like... We can just get this over with if you want, you know, Mr. Trainer. Like, we, we don't have to be here right now. You can just, like, we both know what's gonna happen. Let's just kinda get this over with, right? The Power Gem! Scolding me will only spur me on. Being horny for the VeggieTales vegetables as recuperation. Recuperation for what?! Go easy on a grown-up! You're the one who attacked me out of the rocks. It's not my fault. You didn't want to fight? Don't pick a fight. You know what? I'll entertain this. This one's an easy win. I think I will burn the bear. How have these people not caused a fucking cave-in with all this hullabaloo? It's such a sad noise, though. It's so sad. The important thing is that you get vegetables in you, never mind how. You know what? Good point. I, don't, I haven't had vegetables today. I haven't had, like, anything from that food group. Which isn't to say that that's a, a fact that I'm proud of. It's actually quite sad. Especially because, in the past, there was, like, a, a short period there where I kind of was, like, choosing exclusively Pokemon streams to just, like, 
snack on like apples or strawberries or whatever. But after the bad apple, I don't know. It taught me an important lesson never to eat those fruits again. I ate those fruits. Have you had water? Yeah, I've got a, a water bottle right next to me. I don't think it's opened though, if you want some crack open ASMR. I remember a teacher, sorry. I'm just a bit thirsty on account of not having opened this water yet. I remember, I remember having a teacher who said that bottled water was bad for you because the, the little air, the little bit of air that comes out when you open it means that it's carbonated like soda and it's basically just as bad for you. I mean, the real reason is because it's just regular air that's just be because it, you, when you have pressure on the inside then it makes it more rigid during shipping which makes the e e less likely to get crinkled or See, because I've got an empty one right here, and I can... God, that's deafening. But if I do that, it'll do that no problem because it's empty and there's no pressure anymore, and I already broke the seal. I don't know why I'm explaining this to you. I just still want need to be right about this. Bottled water is bad, but not for those reasons. Yeah, I usually bring just, like, a glass of water, but I'm currently surrounded by <laughs> just empty cups. So I had to resort to desperate measures. We had to, um... We just had to wind up buying a lot during the, um... The, the summer. When, like, the whole town flooded and the water was, like, dirty. And, like, you just couldn't drink it. So I'm just kind of working through that every now and again. Griffin, there is pressure on the inside, it's just that the inner pressure is the same as the outer pressure until you do- That's what I- that's what I mean! I think? What- I'm supposed to be using flying moves! I kind of like zoned out here. I did like the first half of the operation here and like, I just kind of went stupid. Good thing that's never happened before and will never happen since. Ugh. See, but I, ju I just think like a, like a few standard potions would be just, just a nice thing to have. That's just me. A nugget! A nuggy? Hold on. A nuggy? Femi, I'm going to assume by my mech E brain is upset, you mean mechanical engineer brain. And then if that's correct, my griffin brain will feel very big, and if not, then it will feel smaller than ever. I feel like there's something in that corner, but I am scared to go there because I, I. I can only take so many detours! The wild Pokemon in here, in terms of like how often you bump into them, are like really aggressive, I find. Yes, that is what I meant. Fuck yes! 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 I will gallop away on my pointy steed. If only you had a mill tank that knew milk drink. I think I'm glad that I do not. Also, goddammit, I've been tricked. We've been trained by doing physical work, our attacks are- How- Is this your job? Do you just hide in a hole in the ground all day and wear a rock on your head? Okay, so if I use Crocorock against Excadrill, that'll be a good thing. Let's find out. I still think it's e extremely funny that Crocorock has Intimidate as your like special ability. What else would you describe that as if not that? My god. Ground or fire would work. I feel like I tried fire with Zeb Striker earlier and it, it, it didn't really work out. 
Also, I mashed too fast through Sand Tomb to, to see whether or not that just has no effect. Or if it just happened to miss that one time. But I'm going to use this one instead because it's like more of a physical direct thing. Wowee, look at that! Not bad at all. That said, they can hit you hard back. Hmm. You don't say. I should be able to get away with one more dig. There's just one party member going on right now. I don't think Zebra Horse is that durable. Yeah, that's why I'm a little afraid. They've, they've got a little bit more leveling up in front of them. But that's why that they're in front of the party right now, so they can still get some of that XP. Even when we lose, we are powerful. Hmm. I can probably get away with leaving that where it is right now. Croc rocks, a tough, a tough cookie. Speaking of, this one's definitely a story that I told before. Um, I will never not be mad for getting in trouble for saying that's how the cookie crumbles. During a long journey, you'll be happy if you meet a doctor. If you can- Oh shit! Look at that! Good thing I held off on using that super potion then. Well, that second one then. Dr. Hank. Duosion. Let's see. Dark type moves were really strong against this one. He used Croc Rock. So let's see what Zeb Striker can do against this one. With Pursuit. AG, can you make me a hyper potion? No. <gasps> the future sight attack? <gasps> I can see the future! Well, this is good though, because, like, if I talk to them and they heal me as if I'm at a Pokemon Center, then I, I don't need to, like, revive them first, right? I might be able to get away with that. Let's get, let's rope Scraggy into the mix here. Scraggy's also got Dark type. Go more like more like gay back. <laughs> Pursuit isn't a strong attack. I know that, but it's also the only dark type move that Zeb Striker has, and I thought that would be a fun opportunity to continue leveling that particular party member. Um, and also, you know, I don't know if I want Zeb Striker to have crunch because the thought of a horse biting anything is scary. Horse teeth are fucked up. I think I'll keep battling. We were just talking about what's good against psychic types, right? This should work, let's try it out. Oh yeah, that's not bad. That's like, what, three times? You know, barring any further hyper potions. Maybe you should have let someone learn crunch. I don't want to! I think you know not what you ask for. Well, I'm just like, that's it. I can't do anything now. Fuck. Musharna sends Scraggy the Discord link to the dog hypnosis audio tapes. It's too late for him. Okay, uh... I'll resort to croc -a rock if you insist. I told you it was dark, bug, and ghost. I know that, but I don't have any bugs or ghosts. To my knowledge, at least. Tough it out? Ah, eh, this will be faster. I don't need it that desperately, especially when there's probably hyper potions on the way, too. I don't trust like that. Psychic moves have no effect on dark types. Well, explain how Scraggy fell asleep. Foul play? Croc Rock learned bad faith media criticism. 
the user turns the target's power against it, the higher the target's attack stat, the greater the damage. That's kind of a fun one, but also sounds like too much of a caveat to like, maybe assurance, I guess. I would probably use this more than assurance, I think I'll actually replace that one. Me! Your team is very healthy. Let me just fix them up a little bit. Thanks! This guy's alright. <gasps> Wait, what?! Croc Rock has another evolution?! He's gonna turn into a VTuber! I thought he already reached peak performance! Oh! He has like a penis face now! Crocodilo. Guys, I don't know if I like this one as much. I think... I think we peaked. Yes, he does silly, but he, do he doesn't fold his arms anymore! I've seen a lot of TF art of this one? Of, of Crocodilo? You mean a snout? No, I mean the fact that it like... Ext expands a little bit in like a bulbous shape at the tip. After a Pokemon battle, let them recover slowly. Is that supposed to mean anything, or is he just talking, like, non-game tips? Health is always crucial. It really is. Wish I could take my wrists to a fucking Pokemon Center. Yes, the red one. Well, I suppose, in a way, we just saw a little bit of Crocodilo transformation of our own. And thank God for it! There's a creature! Yeah, I'm out of here. I hate these dudes. I'm not a fan of fighting types. Especially a place this dense with them. Why do I dig? Why do you fight? Let's find out. Let's find out here at the Joy Karen Laboratory. Safety is our number one concern. Hiker Neil. Okay, I know exactly what, what I gotta bust out to handle the likes of you. Femi, I know that this is a question without an answer, but why? Why is there so much art of people transforming into a crocodile? I'm a fan of watching them beat you. Can, can, can we save this for, for other games? I happen to like winning at this one. Also, what did I just do? It's electric that's good against these guys. I treated this like a fucking ground fighting type. I gotta go back to Zeb Strika. Oops. Well, Neon Blue, it sounds like you're getting exactly what you what you came for. Also, that was a very lucky shockwave, please. People like the chubby croc. Because it's sexy, most likely. I don't know if there's a lot of art of Crocodile, I've just seen a lot relatively. Relative to- I don't know if I, relative to other Pokemon, cause like... I know that there's a certain image that I've seen, and I'm sure that I've shown it on stream at some point. I think Robin found it for me the last time I brought it up. Um, but that dude who's like taking like selfies in the mirror, and he's like slowly transforming into a Charizard? Like Charizard's gotta be like the, the kind of Pokemon that has like the most, right? Especially because, not only because I think this is kind of one of the popular ones, but just by the nature of being a Gen 1 Pokemon, there's like more time across the ages for people to make that kind of art. Like Charizard got like double the head start that Crocodile did. Yes, Charizard TF guy! Charizard probably has, has the most, if I had to bet. That was a scary sound effect. This game brings the YouTube poop to you! Where there's smoke, they pinch back. I'm so sick of overrated Charizard. Furries love Charizard. Your past experience, is that the source of your strength? Absolutely not. What experience? 
Yeah, popularity plus time plus Charizard proportions. This is probably some like multiplied by, divided by, somewhere in that formula. This guy's got scary music. Words are unnecessary. I can understand everything if we battle. That's what I say right before kissing another man on the lips. Remember when the Target Twitter posted Charizard TF because they thought it was just Charizard in a red shirt? What? Plockster, I'm gonna need a source on that pronto. When? Why? Gotta respect the people who like niche Pokemon TF rather than like the normie Charizard Gen 1ers. I bet Lucario's probably pretty popular too, right? I gotta think. Unpheasant. Get you. It was a few years ago. That's awesome. I love brand accounts fucking up like that. Hey, you know what I just noticed this year? There was like a year. There was a time in like the early 2010s where a lot of like social media accounts for like brands and companies and stuff did like commemorative 9-11 posts. I don't think I saw that a lot this year. I think that's finally over. Or it is and I just don't see very many ads. But remember when there was like like candy bar companies and like the most unlikely tone-deaf brands like associating themselves with 9-11 doing that shit? Like there's definitely like shit on the level of like not saying that this is like an actual example, but like along the lines of like Ronald McDonald crying in front of the Twin Towers. It's not over? Oh no, I thought it was. I guess it was Nintendo News, not Target. Well, I'd like to see it anyways. If you've got, if you've got that image, I want to see it. The good news is that I'm getting lots of Poke Dollars to undo the damage that I'm doing to myself. Me! Balls! <gasps> this is gonna be a person. Oh no, it's not. Cool. Well, I'm out of here then. <gasps> <gasps> My Pokemon love the ore mind here and they love fiery Pokemon battles. It's the most fun you can have in a nap. I'll whisper it? Okay. I will show it when that is the case. I don't think my, uh... My Unpheasant is in a very good state right now. I probably should have healed between battles there. Probably should have seen that coming. Yeah, I'll, I'll take a, a hit or two as I'm striking before switching out. Meanwhile, Plox is coming through with this image. My Nintendo News posted this? And it's still up? <gasps> that was that was a real gasp. Let me take a screenshot of this real quick. And then in the meantime, I will uh I'll get something going right now. So that while the animations are playing, I can spend that time to actually like put it up on screen. It's on the desktop. Oh my god. Get your Charizard from participating Target stores today! For sun and moon! Because they thought it was a Target shirt? <laughs> it's so upsetting. Yeah, let's use Air Slash. Maybe it was. We never saw what it looked like pre-transformation. Maybe it was a Target employee who's transforming into a Charizard. That rules. Oh, I came back in time for Target Zard. Kaijuma for you left? Ka okay, what did you mean by what if there were MILFs? That's gone unanswered for like a whole hour. Bolto is yum! You know, come to think of it, I think that's especially because because if, if you think about it, you could say that Superior is a little bit of a. Kada peanut bomb, Luigi. 
Get back here, you little skimp! It's dangerous in there! I don't remember. What the f what the fuck do you mean you don't remember? You got me, my Pokemon thinks so too. Well, it is a fact, so I'm glad that they agree with reality. I was busy looking at Mario. Oh, shit, yeah, that's out, huh? That dropped like a... Speaking of an hour ago, about 50 minutes ago, my time. That's the... the way it is for late starts. We'll get to it tonight, though. I'm really looking forward to that. I should have time for both. I just want to get out of here. I think getting to the next city will be a good stopping point if this is as vast as I think it is. It is, after all, quite twisty and turny. Is this...? No. I just happened to run into... I guess this dude was, like, hiding in this trainer's ass. Who knows? I don't know why that occurred to me just now. Robin just said that she was playing that, too. Usually when someone says they don't remember, it's because they don't remember. Usually. Oh, wait. If you look for something in an empty place like this, you can discover things. This dude isn't out to heart. He just has helpful advice. Look at that. Thanks. Like you and your age. There is a very good reason I don't remember my age, and I'll have you know. Guess you could say I forgot the reason. <laughs> Whoa. This is looking a little bit different. This is like where I live in an Arctic Canada cave. <gasps> Whoa, look at this thing! Cryogonal? Triagonal? But it's like a hexagon, not a triangle. Well, hey, look, Zeb Stryka. Just the horse for the job. It's very hard to remember your age, honestly. I mean, come on, it changes every year. Fucked up. Listen, listen. I think the difference is that, like, from, like, 0 to 18, there's, like, a big deal that's made out of your birthday every year. It's like, and you're proud of it. I'm like, you hold up your fingers. I'm this many years old. Almost this many. But I don't think I've, like, celebrated my birthday with, like, with, like, people. Like, I've ever made a day of it for, like... Let's be real. I'd like to say post-high school, but really even during high school. <laughs> Wait a second. Oh, I see what's gotta happen. I was actually going the right way for that Pokeball. Do you not know your height or weight? No, I don't! I don't have measuring equipment! Oh, I don't know why I ran from that. That probably would have been another freebie right there. I'm just gonna get uh, another Super Potion going here real quick, just to make sure that... Well, I guess both Unpheasant and Zeb Striker are in tip-top condition. Top 10 tip-top games. There we go. <gasps> the range that you have between battles is really something else in this cave. I feel like it's getting worse the deeper I go, really. The last time I checked was like 5-6, but that was years ago. The ice types I at least welcome, because then that's like, okay, cool, this is an opportunity. That's a freebie. These guys? Fuck off. Not interested. Flash cannon. I wonder what that does. Can't wait to literally never open my TM and HM case ever again to find out what that shit does. Maybe it's just me, but I've never really been much of a TM guy. How about you? I feel like, to me, the moves that the Pokemon learn on their own are already kind of that system, so I don't really feel much of an incentive to use those. I guess if there was, like, a crazy good one that you could give to, like, an otherwise not spectacular Pokemon, maybe, but, like, for the amount that they give you, I don't find myself using nearly that many. But I guess it's just lots of options, more than anything that lots of different players will only use a small handful? That's my, my best guess, really. Oh, this is- a, okay, this is just the one room. 
This is not the way forwards. What do you know about yourself? Um, gay rights. Oh my god. I think that's it. Guys, I don't think I have a personality. Oh my god! Wait, why are we talking about trademarking things? I don't really use what? <gasps> oh shit! My friend! His name is Team Plasma, even though he's just one person. Huh, pretty strong. But you're only strong because you trainers are controlling Pokemon. Hmm. So if you want to set Pokemon free, if that's what you want, you should start with your own. But taking people's Pokemon by force is not right. That's not real strength. <gasps> Team Plasma 2! Hey, there you are. We found that thing we were looking for. We should head for the tower now. Get this, Team Plasma has obtained the power to change this world and end people's control over Pokemon. That's right. We must use force in order to right the wrongs of the world. Now let's gather around our king, our lord and hallelujah! Those guys, I don't know what they've found, but they go the extra mile to gain power and cause trouble. Yeah, I, I, I think I'd like to kneel in front of him too. Oh! oh, TMs, Griffin. I get it. What a bothersome bunch. Griffin, I'm gonna stay here for a while. I want to think a little bit about what the champion asked me. What do I want to do with my power after I get strong? And why do I want to be strong in the first place? Good for you. I too like to crawl into holes and have a long think about things. Where does this door go though? I'm assuming that that's like the last door. <gasps> what the fuck? Like I could leave if I wanted to, but I think I will poke around a little bit more. I don't know if I'm gonna do like 100% of this, but if this is like something that's right there. I've at least missed, like, one other door, though, right? So... I hate this kid. Sharon? I think he's a little bit funny, because... Oh. Never mind that. There is nothing to see. Maybe later? Maybe I need an ability? Uh, maybe a different season. Like, later on, if you come back at a later point, then that's, like, filled with water? That could be cool. Alright, alright. I'll entertain this as well, if only because electricity happens to work very well. And I could use a teensy bit more XP. Especially considering you're going into a gym. Who knows what's around the corner? I can go all the way to the corner. I just think it's funny that he reminds me of Hitoshi-san, and for that, I will excuse anything of Sharon. I don't know, I don't mind the, the friend characters too much this generation. That was something that they tried with X and Y, and like, I can't tell you a single thing about any of those characters. Like, what their personalities were, what they contributed to their story, what set them apart from each other, their likes and dislikes, nothing. So like, I don't know if this is like, if this dude stands out like a ton, but it certainly clears that bar, you know? X and Y dropped the ball. Yeah. So no flying type? Throws my fucking Nintendo DS. Speaking of, I can't believe we haven't talked about this yet. They officially discontinued the 3DS during the stream last night. Having the friend group was ambitious, but it flopped. Yeah, I mean, if it was good, then it would be good, but it is not, so it is not, you know? <laughs> it's not a flawed idea at all. They just didn't do a good job of it. Who are you? Cedric? Do I know you? Hello, Griffin. How's Zebstrika? Ah, this Zebstrika has really taken a shine to you. The Pokédex is important, but time spent having fun together is also important. Say, I just had a thought. Have you heard of the High Elves? I have not. Eh, I'm not surprised you haven't heard of it. Okay, give this story a listen. 
Dragon Spiral Tower is said to be the Unova's region's oldest building. Stories say it's the place where the legendary Pokemon came to life, or where they remain in deep slumber. I know it's just past Icarus City, but that's all I know about it. That's all anyone knows, because no one has ever been inside. My daughter has wanted to investigate that tower for a long time. Oh, she's he's the flying leader's dad. Was flying the gym that we just did? Well, it's a plane city, so I have to assume. What? There's something I don't know? That kind of feeling is pure adventure. And I'm not too old for some adventuring. Away I go to have a look at Dragon Spiral Tower. Catch you later. 3DS is dead. Honestly, didn't like the 3DS. Would have been happy if they just kept on 2DS. The dad of the Professor Griffin. No, of the Professor. Of the Professor? Okay, I have no clue who that dude is then. Oh! Slopes? Puddles? Oh, this is lovely little music. I didn't know that it counted as wild grass, though. Guys, I'm beginning to think that Palpal Toad is my best shot at replacing the monkey. Just in case I don't find any later, I think this dude's gonna have to be like my contingency plan. Also, fuck! I keep mixing up the difference between whether or not electricity beats water or whether water beats electricity. Well, I mean, I have a grass type, so if anything, won't. That'll do the trick. Wait, not the 2DS. I just remembered that that was like an alt version of 3DS. Just the fucking DS, I mean. I don't know. I think that console is going to have a very interesting legacy. In terms of like first party titles, if you look at a console and you look at like its whole library, and you can't say the Switch because that generation isn't over yet. What console had like the best collection of games? What was like the best generation, you know? Because I'm sure upon asking that, I think people are going to have wildly different opinions. See, I think the default answer for a lot of people is just going to be like whatever they grew up with. I think like if I glance at chat, I'm going to see a lot of like GameCube answers, for example, but like that is a massive lady with a massive umbrella. That's the real- there's no perspective here, that's the real size difference. Um, but I don't think GameCube would be my answer. I think N64 would be, if I had to think about like the amount of games in like all those different series and like what they did for the series and the industry, like, I don't know, that's my- that's my answer for that one. I missed the question, can you repeat it? Um, in terms of first party libraries, which console was the best in terms of like the games that you could get for it? Like which console had the best library? And you can't say Switch because that it's not over yet. That's like super deep water. If you fall in, you're gonna like just like, it's like that one gif of that dude falling into like a puddle in like the, the parking lot. Hmm. This is nice. Is this like going through me? It's like chopping through the brim of my hat. Or I'm just standing underneath it. But, oh, this music is gorgeous. I think we're gonna like this place. Yeah, I could use a heal, I think. I'll explore this a little bit. Is this a route or is this the town? Because if there's wild Pokemon appearing, I'm not so sure whether I'm where I want to be. First party only, my answer would probably be Wii, because Nintendo. See, I don't know, the Wii had some pretty cool stuff, but like... It didn't have any Star Foxes. It kind of had Metroid. I guess N64 didn't have Metroid though, really. I don't know, I think a lot of stuff got kind of like left in, in, in the lurch during the Wii. And the latter half of that cycle kind of like fizzled out. No, this is Route 8, this is not- well no. That's Route 8. This is Icarus City. So this is just an actual city where you can find wild Pokemon. What do you know? It's kind of neat. I'll visit some houses then, I'll do a little bit of exploring here before wrapping up tonight and switching to to Super Mario in real life.
It's so HD you can't even tell the difference now. Of everything, easily PS2. PS2 is a magnet for horror games in particular. Yeah, PS2 is definitely an up there answer for sure. What the fuck is going on up here? Does the clapping only become part of the music when you approach those guys? That's fun, that's a fun feature. Anyways, I don't know how to get to that house, but I'll see what these guys are up to. Spin apart, mix and twirl. Oh, these guys don't even want to fuck with me. Sp t t let me get my DSi back out. I gotta redo this Paper Mario bit. I still have this from like a, like a month ago. Hold on. This is definitely not worth the bit. Well, here's record and edit, and then there's play with your music. I think I want this one. Is this the spin one? Spin. That's Mario saying it. Next bit. Okay, turn and spin. Dance, dance, two dragons, but there's four of you. Mix it up, day and night, because today everything's all right. Cool. The legendary Pokemon Zekrom shared its wisdom with the hero and defied foes with fierce lightning. The hero and that Pokemon were as close as a parent and child. People were filled with awe and looked up to them, and that is said to be the beginning of what became ancient Unova. I am liking this lore. Wow, how did you get Vinny on this stream? Uh, you know, he he lives in under my bed. He's like a monster that haunts me. If we live a monotonous life, do we get used to it and stop thinking about changing it? Next question. Listen, listen, I heard that Bryson was in the movies a long time ago. This would look like an egg. They say ideals intermingled with truth, and the Dragon Spiral Tower was created. I almost said towel. It has been there, watching us for thousands of years. I don't know whether or not this is true. I too say things without knowing whether or not they are true. That reminds me of Denny. Icarus City Pokemon. This is the gym, so it's an ice type? Ice Mask. I think I'm gonna have a very happy zebra come next stream. I'll just explore a little bit more and then we can just like jump right into that. Always the tower looms, disdainful of the wind and snow. Perhaps its presence has a special meaning for people. <gasps> I thought she was gonna like tackle me. Hi, this way please. Exciting, thrilling, zippy, chilling, it's pep quiz. Today's challenger is, uh, this person. Hi, and welcome. Pep quiz starts now. Answer lots of quizzy questions and watch your brain get brainier. Oh, I need this so badly. Lay it on me. Let's start with the question. Good luck. You named your kid Ditto? What if that's an actual Pokemon? A question. What is a two-on-two -two Pokemon battle called? Like, double battles, right? Oh my, it's tremendously difficult. Can the challenger answer this? Hint, hint! Uh oh, the audience is asking for a hint. I didn't ask for one. If it's a one-on-one -on -one battle, it's single. It's, 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 it's double, let me answer. Thank you. What the fuck? It uses this system? These are like Pokemon names, not battles. Maybe that would be in Trainer. It's called a battle battle, of course! Emergency. An emergency battle. A loss battle. Mm, mm, richer. Maybe Connection? My D-pad's really acting up lately. Double! Here we go. How long is this going to be? Confirm. 
woohoo, that is C-O-R-R-E-C-T, B-I-C-T-H, wait, no, that's spelled correctly. Wait, did, did I say B-I-C-T-H or did I say B-I-T-C-H? I hope Denny is doing well. So glad he got into Rice University. Yeah, yeah, good hustle. Congratulations. Now this is a prize. Okay, you just have to answer the one question. Phew! I thought that was gonna go on for like half an hour, and I was gonna struggle with those menus for so much longer. Exciting, thrilling, zippy, chilling! That's a pep quiz. See you tomorrow. Oh, I guess you could come back for more if you want. Me. Hopefully there's not too many quizzes awaiting me in like the rest of these buildings. This is the one who talks about monotony, right? Yeah, okay. Is that already the whole town then? I could have sworn there was one more house that I walked by. Yeah, over here. Let's check this out. This one has like a function too. Fans of everything Pokemon. The Pokemon Fan Club. Be sure to pre-order Pokemon Sun and Moon and join the Pokemon Fan Club today! <gasps> oh god, we're too late. He they transformed him! <clears throat> I'm the chairman who loves Pokemon the most among Pokefans in the entire world! If you are a trainer, will you show me how you're raising your Pokemon? With loving care? Sure. I think I really love Crocodilo. Oh, this. F Are you seeing this? Hashtag thank you, Game Freak. Oh, -ho! this crocodile was level 17 when you met, but now it's level 40. That's actually kind of nuts to think about. This dude's come a long way. I see. Although it's just a smidgen, I can feel your love for your Pokemon. Well, you showed me good stuff. Please keep raising your Pokemon with loving care. Welcome to the Pokemon Fan Club. Shall I check how friendly your Pokemon is towards you? Mmm, I get the vibe that Pampoor secretly wants to kill me. Oh my, you're Pampoor. It's super friendly to you. I'm a bit jealous. Guys, I gotta change this pronto. Moon. It is Moon! I gotta like, get in its path. Here's the problem with forest diversity. Glibbalugga! Glip glob like! I typed it as thank, then went back to capitalize it and messed it up as why I'm devastated. Too bad the feeling isn't mutual. Damn right it isn't mutual. I have no hesitation to abandon that thing like a fucking chow. Wow, that's Dragon Spiral Tower right there. I don't know what it looks like yet, but I think this is a good point to leave off. My team's already healed up, right? Because I just went into that Pokemon Center. All right, perfect. Well, with that, that was Pokemon Black for tonight. Thank you for watching. Uh, coming up next is Super Mario 3D All-Stars. We're going to be starting with Super Mario 64 and uh, who knows what in the coming weeks. But if you're interested in that, then please hold. And if not, uh, have a good night. Also, speaking of the fact that it's been a month, I almost, I almost closed it. And forgot to save. Like, I opened the menu to, like, look at the team, like, okay, all done. Nothing left to do here. My god. That would have been a tough section to replay, too. That was a lot of battles tonight. Alright, with that, please hold.